The Tricket Squad. The first misadventure. By Duran Cronin. <coughs> Illustrated by Kevin Cronin. For Poppy and Sweetie, of course. To Kim, who holds my hand. That's okay. Introductions. Welcome and to the yard. Introductions. <coughs> introductions. Welcome to the yard. Meet the trick is lost. Squad. Four fuzzy little tricks who should fill their days with... Hmm, fill their days picking chicken food and chasing bugs, but instead spend most of their time looking for trouble and finding it. My job is to pull them out of it. My name is JJ Trolley. Retired search and rescue dog. Seven years on the job, two years on the yard. Keep your eye on these four. Dirt. Yellow. Short, yellow, fuzzy. Real name. Peep. Specially. Foreign languages. Math. Colors. Computer codes. Sugar. Short, low, yellow, fuzzy. Real name. Little boo. Specially, breaking and entering, interrupting. Specialty. Specialty, breaking and entering, interrupting. Puppy. Short, yellow, fuzzy, real name. Puppy. Spectacular. Specialty. 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 Watching this shoe. <laughs> we'll explain later. Sweetie, short, yellow, fuzzy, real name. Sweet. Coconut Lucy. Specialty. None that I can see. Here's the thing. I can't watch them all the time. I have dog stuff to do. Keep your eyes on them for a while, will you? I'm just going to settle down and take a little nap. Wake me if they get into any trouble. Will Big trouble. I'm sure you can handle a little trouble on your own. Chapter 1 Help! Help! A squirrel came barreling into the chicken coop. He was out of breath and in a panic. There's something big and scary in the yard, gasped the squirrel. It's after me! Describe it for me, says Sugar. Describe it for me, says Sugar. She put and pulled her notepad out of the old shoe. It's big and scary, said the squirrel. It's big and scary. It's big and scary. <laughs> big and scary is <coughs> not going to cut it, said Sugar. Lots of things are big and scary, kid. My mom is big and scary. Try again. It's enormous and frightening, said the squirrel. Sugar put her pencil down. Better keep going. It's huge and terrifying, cried the squirrel. Much better, tail, said Sugar. She checked her notepads. Big and scary, enormous and frightening, huge and terrifying. Maybe I can tell, said Sugar. She took out her sketch pad. What shape was it, asked Sugar. It was big, answered the squirrel. Big is not a shape, sighed Sugar. She put her note notebook down. You've got a good vocabulary, kid. But your poor shape knowledge means I can't respect you. You should go now. Hold on, sugar, said Dirt. Let me figure this out. Let's start from the beginning. It was enormous, snapped Squirrel. He was starting to get grumpy. I thought I thought you said it was big, said Sugar. I can maybe I can give it a try, said Dirt. Is it bigger than a house? Well, no, said the squirrel. Is it bigger <coughs> than the chicken coop? Asked her. Well, no, answered the squirrel. Is it bigger than you? Asked her. I am a brave squirrel. Of course it's bigger than me, said the squirrel. What would it be afraid of something that, mm, something if it wasn't bigger than me? Lots of people are afraid of things that are sim smaller than they are, said Dirt. Well, not me, said the squirrel. I'm only afraid of one thing, and it is big and scary, and it came out from nowhere, and it's out there waiting for me. I think we need JJ on this case, said Sugar. Why don't you a little bit slow down? 
He knows the yarn like the back of his paw. I'm going to run over there and ask him to join us. Not the dog! yelled the school. Not the dog! Not the dog! <laughs> What's your beef with the dog tail? asked Sugar. He is big and scary, answered the school. <laughs> Sugar had a hunch. Fine, I'm just going to run outside and grab a shovel, she announced. I'll be right back. Not the shovel, said Tail. Not the shovel, not the shovel. What's your beef with the shovel? asked Sugar. It's big as Gary, said the squirrel. I give up, Tail, said Sugar. Sounds to, sounds to me like you're afraid of everything in the yard. Now get out here. Get out of here and call me when you have a real problem. Sugar made a last note on a pad. Big and scary. Big and scary, enormous and frightening, huge and terrifying, never mind. Just then, a dark figure appeared in the doorway and cast a shadow over their sugar and tail. Everything okay in here? At the deep, gruff voice. Tail's eyes went wide, his face went pale, and he hit the floor. Chapter 2 How was I supposed to know the twitchy school was going to faint? I made sure sometimes I chased them around the yard. Big deal. You do the same thing if you were a dog, especially if you were bored out of your mind and nothing to read. So yeah, the school took look took one look at my mug and faded. Like a mission. My job is to keep the chicken squad and their mom mush safe and sound. I know the squirrel walking into the chicken coop that afternoon, and I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't check it out. <laughs> mush thought, too, she wouldn't be doing her job if she didn't check it out either. But Mush and I have both been around long enough to know what the squirrels are never up to anything good. Now, look what you did, J.J., said Sugar, frowning at the school, stretched out from the floor. She did not look pleased. Poppy and Sweetie jumped out from of the shoe to get a closer look. It's a saw, said Sweetie. Can we keep it? Then squirrels are boring, said Poppy. Oh, I'll be in the shoe if, if you need me. Mush burst into the coop and looked down at the scroll and rolled her eyes. I'll hand it, she said, so there was only one thing left, left for me to do. Go back to sleep. <sighs> Chapter 3 I hope that's what I think it is, said Mush. What do you think it is? asked her. A dead scroll in my living room. She answered, the sugar, the school is not dead, mom, said sugar. He just faded. How can you be sure, sure? asked Mush. He looks dead to me. That thing smells bad, answered sugar. He just smells like school. Mush stepped right over the school and walked into the old shoe. She plucked out Poppy by the scarf of his neck and drop it on the floor. You are starting to smell like dirty feet, she said. Time for a bath. When she said sugar and when she asked sugar and dirt, what's he doing here anyway? <laughs> he claims that there's something big and scary in the yard, said sugar. Try to go squirrel, said Moosh. The, the squirrel started to moan and twitch. <laughs> Ow, um, uh, sounds like he's coming around, said Mush, out of the side of his beak. Drag him outside. He smells bad.